Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. That's, this video is going to be a little bit too elementary for a bunch of you, but maybe for some others. If you have your freehand tool and you're trying to draw a line similar to this line, see how rough it is? Well, I don't know what default is on that setting, but if you take your freehand tool, mine was set on 10, if you raise it to 100, you can either type in 100 or move the slide bar. Now watch how much more, it's not gonna be the same line, but it'll be, it'll be a lot smoother. But you can see my curves aren't the same. So what I do in a case like this, if I wanna draw this line, I'm gonna use a two point line. Then I'm just gonna come down and click, go up and click, go down and click, go up and click, go down and click, go up and click. Then take your shape tool and select those inner nodes. Go up to windows, dockers, and corners. And look at that. Whoop, I already had it set, so I thought it was going to do it. Grab the inside nodes. I've got it set on four inches. And there you go. Now, I missed that one node, evidently. So let's go uh, two inches and just show you how easy this is. Just grab all those nodes and go two inches. And now all your wavy lines are the same. Now, if you ever wanted to make a item out of this, if we rotate it 90 degrees or an object out of this, let me get it off the page because I'm so big. What you could do to make it even, first of all, you'd want to bring in an indexing line and make sure both lines are semi the same distance and they're not. So we're gonna take the shape tool and we're just gonna move this one. We can actually go right to that node. Now we can control D and make a duplicate and holding down the control button, move this this way and you've got an object. I think I'm gonna have a leak. For some reason that did not work. Oh, it's cause this, my line down here, and this is a good lesson my line down here is past the indexing line, so I'm going to cut it. The indexing line will stop on that line. Control D and make a duplicate while holding down the control button, get that two-sided arrow. Hold down the control button, not the shift button. <laughs> we can go ahead and take away our indexing line, and we can take our smart fill tool. We'll set it on blue, and you can make that shape right there. You know, turn it the other way, and... Uh, be a symmetrical whatever it is. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.